Welcome back to another episode of DIY Solar Energy Uncut. Yes, I said uncut. Today I've got the DIY BMS 4.2 on the first version of DIY Solar Energy Uncut. I've got this uh, board and I've also got the ESP32. I currently have it being powered via USB that's hooked up to my my shop computer. I have an editing machine and a shop computer, two different ones. I don't currently have the five volt set up here. The reason why I'm liking Stuart Pitway's uh, newest version, because it's got built-in relays, it's got CAN bus, it's got, uh, you can't see there, uh, 485 for like the shunt that he's currently in the process of building. But this is going to be a really nice, got a lot of features coming from the Batrium. And I, I'm looking forward to this. I currently have it set up on these uh, uh, Navitas, Navius, using the 4.21 boards that I programmed these with the AVR programmer, which I'll show you here in just a few moments. So I'm really looking forward to getting uh, all of these. I've got, uh, I think it's 250 amp hours worth of these. I'll be doing 10P16S. So that I really look forward to that. That'll be a, a great addition, swapping over to LiPo 4. Ignore the uh, packs there. I've got that in a video coming up. And ignore the gimbal that I could be using right now. I am just using my iPhone 12 Pro Max, but I just want to kind of give you an uncut version of this. Uh, ignore the uh, PPU box, but uh, I'm really liking this version. So let's get into it and move on to the next part. Well, on my YouTube channel, I've almost got a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys very much. Getting really, really close. So. On the new DIY BMS interface here, I only got, like I said, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six cells hooked up here. They've just been running for a couple of days. As you can see, the individual modules don't pull that much power at all. So I'm very, very happy with that. I'm used to using Batrium, so um this is a little bit of a difference but i'm really really looking forward to it uh, going to the modules here it's going to scan the modules and you can see uh, my bypass threshold in millivolts is 3.640 because you know we're dealing with lipo 4 and we'll go over here and click on configure on one of them see i've got it set at three 0.640 now I do have the four point is it 4.4 boards on order I believe that's the correct model number so I look forward to getting those I've got six cells in series and one in parallel and got my graph set to 3.75 down to 1.75 because these particular cells will go down to 2 volts. Currently have the time zone set up. Let's see here, rules. Just some basic rules. Like I said, it's not in production yet. And it does have a more menu. I did use the AVR programmer. I love the AVR programmer. So, Mr. Stewart, thank you very much for the AVR programmer. It makes it so much easier now. Don't and we don't have to use the visual code to uh, to install the software. Excellent, excellent. But uh, you do have a more menu up here. You got storage now with an SD card that you can put in there and save things, logs. Uh, we got the about page, got the source code. Make sure you go sign up on his Patreon. He has a Patreon account. I'm a uh, Patreon member for him. So, yeah. 
And let's see, is there anything else here? Storage integration. This is what, so I have a Influx database set up on a Raspberry Pi and I'm working on MQTT as well. I do have uh, uh, Influx set up with uh, Grafana, Grafana, however, the Southern people pronounce it different from the Northern or the Eastern or the Western. So just trying to give you guys a quick overview of my DIY BMS setup here and uh, make these little quick uncut videos to give some people some, some, I guess, views of it actually being in service. You can see how many packets we're seeing, 124,661, and then uh, 124,593 were received. And we have two OOS errors round trip going through six of them being a 1,267 milliseconds. Say my current pack voltage is 19.6, but I don't have anything connected get together, just mainly wanting to test them. Oh, right down here at the bottom, we've got 3D. This right here is really nice. Give it a moment to load. Um, you can move it around. You can look at it from top down. This is really nice. When you start having the amount of batteries that I'm going to have on here, this is going to be very nice. I can't wait. I don't think I've got to look at it, see if we can do different co uh, color codes for different banks. Uh, I have not looked into that yet. I know he, uh, Mr. Stewart, is adding tons and tons of uh, new features, and I'm trying to get up on some Arduino code so I can help him out. I do know like some VB code, but and I think Arduino is very close to that. So, but again, my VB code was VB.6.0 uh, way back in the days, what I call the AOL days. But, uh, yep, that's what I'm taking around with tonight and getting some lipos top balanced. Been in uh, chitter chatters back and forth with Mr. Terry over at Power to Spare. Make sure, guys, you go over to powertospare.net and give him a shout-out. Look at his products. Um, a bunch of new exciting things coming his way. You can also use the, the discount code of Is It Rigged? I'm working on getting that changed over to DIY Solar Energy or maybe just DIY Solar. We'll see what we can get changed there. But go visit Power to Spare. I've been talking with him. And uh, some other videos I got coming up. That'll be the Rattan battery that'll be live. Uh, so we're going to do that in a three-part segment. Uh, uh, me and Kev Central from uh, KevCentral.com or the YouTube Kev Central channel, big uh, uh, bike channel. He uh, and I are collaborating on a Rattan uh, fat tire e-bike battery. We're going to re -beat, or be, blah, blah, be rebuilding it from the ground up. And as well, so that'll be the first segment of me tearing it down and showing you the kind of how it's set up and everything. Uh, then I'll shoot the second video without Kevin of me assembling everything and how to build it back. And then the third video will be, we'll bring Kevin back live and... Uh, I'll be assembling it back together, as in putting it back in the case. I'm not sure how I'll test it. Maybe uh, after the live feed, I'll shoot me testing the e-bike with a new battery. And then after that one, sometime in the middle of all that, I've got a big ham radio uh, video coming up. I've just got all the parts ordered for it, so as soon as they all get here... Um, I can't quite divulge too much information on it, but it's ham radio related. Since I, uh, I do hold an extra class amateur radio license, I'm very involved in the amateur radio community. I can't wait to show you that. It'll be a little bit different. There's going to be an added bonus to it, so make sure you <laughs> stick around and wait for that. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be some of the uh, DIY Solar Energy uncut versions with no editing, shaky camera and all. I may do a slight bit of editing 
but uh, probably not much. I may just edit this uh, on my phone and bada bing, bada boom, and make a thumbnail. But uh, I do appreciate you guys for uh, subscribing. I'm going to go back over here real quick and see if I can do a refresh, see if we hit 1,000 yet. Note right there at 999 subscribers. So let me hold off on publishing this till I get 1,000 so I can thank you all. As I sit here and uh, listen to my amateur radio with all the weather, weather going on, I'm also part of the Skywarn community where we try to help keep all of our citizens safe. Been refreshing here for a few minutes and still at 999. Let me hit this refresh button one more time. Nope, still at 999. Okay, we'll check right Well, back. there we go. I've just hit 1,000 subscribers. So let's go check something out. Who was my 1,000 subscriber? Hey, I just uh, tweeted on his Twitter. <laughs> Thank you. So let's go over here and let's look at YouTube Studio really quick because I am not monetized. So there we are. Let's go right here real quick. I am doing this like terrible. There's the picture right there. 1,000. Thank you very much, everybody. Now we can keep moving forward and try to hit that 5,000 mark. Heck, I'll be content with 2,000. All right, let me get this edited real quick and get it up. Thank you all.